Good morning, it's Wednesday. I fancy wearing something a little smarter than my normal lockdown attire today, so I've put on a pair of trousers which aren't leggings or jeans. Woo! And a sort of shirt with a tie bit at the front. This is from Evans, the shirt. I think the trousers were originally um, um, Florence and Fred, I do believe. And, oh God, let's get out of this light in my dressing room. So yeah, I just fancy wearing something a little bit smarter today. Um, let's pop you down. Do you like my new necklace? It's, um, I don't know how, can you see that? Yes, you can see that now. It's a um, little honeycomb design. I was sent this by um, a jewellery company called Anna Luisa. They reached out, as YouTubers say. Let me find something else to pop you onto because you can't see the top of my head, can you? They reached out, as YouTubers say, and um, kindly gifted me three pieces of jewellery of my choice in return for a mention and a little um, link in the description box. Um, I'm not being paid, I'm not on commission, anything like that, so it is just purely a gift. So um, yeah, I'm really, really pleased with the necklace. I think it's so pretty, it immediately caught my eye on their website. It's so delicate and so different. I like the little um, honeycomb design. I thought it was really unusual. And it's a company called Anna Luisa and they are, what. Well, what I thought was particularly interesting about them is that they are their goal is to achieve, I'm just reading this, a net zero carbon footprint by the end of this year and maintain that moving forward. So I haven't heard of a sustainable jewellery company before. I think they use um, recycled metals as well, which I thought was really interesting. And um, they've got a really interesting range. So I'll pop the link in the description box if you're interested. Let me show you first, though, the other pieces I got. Um, they arrived really quickly, it is from overseas, but they arrived within literally two working days, I think, of me um, choosing the pieces that I wanted, and it came in this tiny little box, and when I open it, look, it says, smaller packaging, less waste, more love, and I really liked that, and they, the individual pieces of jewellery come in these little um, sort of suede popper pouches, which is so much nicer than cardboard boxes than you're just going to throw away, isn't it? I really liked that idea. Um, so much jewellery is very overpackaged these days, and I liked that they were. So this piece I absolutely love. Um, for, I ordered a bracelet as well. I loved the look of this because it's... Um, it reminded me of those paperclip bracelets you used to make. Do you remember at school you making bracelets out of paper clips? I used to love doing that. And I thought that was so pretty. They also do a matching necklace of this. Unfortunately, however, as soon as this arrived, I realised that it was basically child size. <laughs> I don't think it's meant to be. But yeah, that doesn't go anywhere near my wrist, unfortunately. So um little bit disappointed about that. I mean, I don't think I've got particularly giant wrists, but there is a, I don't know if I can show you that, a big old gap, uh, a good, it needs to be a good inch longer. It's not just a small gap. So unfortunately that won't fit me. However, I showed it to my niece on FaceTime last night, my 15 year old niece, who was a tiny little thing and she liked it. So I'll pass that one on to her. And then the third piece that I ordered was, uh, I thought it would be nice for my mum to choose something. She is in lockdown with my dad who has sort of fairly mod moderate, uh, I don't want to call it advanced, but certainly not mild dementia these days. It's um, more towards moderate, I would say. And I think it's a trying old time. For, it's a trying old time for all of us, isn't it? And there's lots of people with um, various difficulties. But I know my mum's, you know, it's a lot not to be able to go out and to, anyway... I'm digressing, aren't I? My mum had a look through the website and she chose these earrings, which are really nice sort of gold hoops, almost um, oval. And they, they feel beautiful quality. I have to say all the pieces of jewellery, the clasps and everything, and um, it, it does feel lovely quality. Very nice indeed. So I'm going to be posting those off to my mum next time I go out to post my eBay parcels. So that's those are on their way, mum. I hope you're pleased with them. So... As I say, I'll put the stuff in the description box below for them and their prices start at about $39, so not horribly expensive, so that's good. 
Right, next, let's move on to this mascara. I said I would do a wear test on it. Do you remember on, in my last vlog? So I'm going to pop it on today. I've got no mascara on at the moment. I'm gonna pop it on and we will see how it wears and what we think. So I'll switch you off and come back to you when I've popped it on. Right, mascara is on. That's two coats. It hasn't gone clumpy, which is good. Let me move back from here a little bit. Yeah, it hasn't gone clumpy. The brush is lovely to use. I love the way it angles. And obviously I'll link the mascara in the description box below. It's called, in case you didn't see the video the other day, it is called Unlimited Mascara and it's by L'Oreal. I got mine from Amazon. It was only a fiver, I think. Um, and I really like it. I think it's really nice. Um, yeah, as I said, that's two coats. So we will see how it wears throughout the day. Right, it's Wednesday. It's half past eight, 20 to nine. Got some laundry on. I've got um, had some front bits of my hair pulled down and they've disappeared. Let me do that. So plans for Wednesday. It's not a very nice day today. It's um, a little bit cloudy and gray outside. So yeah, plans for Wednesday. I'm going to do a little bit of eBay this morning. I'm going to film a beauty pie video, um, which I've been thinking about filming for ages. There's going to be a whole new phenomenon called lockdown brain, I think. It's almost like pregnancy brain, that everything's working a little bit slower than it <laughs> did before. Anyway, right, I'm going to go and um, crack on with the day and I'll come back to you later on. Ashley has prepared us a gourmet extravaganza breakfast of tin spaghetti on toast and coffee. But not spaghetti hoops because they're the work of the devil. <laughs> it's just coming up to 12. The weather's clearing up a little bit. There is a little bit of blue sky over there and I've also just noticed the first blossom is out on this tree. The first of the blossom, this tree will be absolutely glorious in a week or so once all of that comes out. Can't wait. Very excited about that. And um, Ashley started working on the windows yesterday, so hopefully at some point or after lockdown, the scaffolding will be able to come down. So I think it's very boring whatever it is he's doing on the windows, so he can't keep at it all the time. But um, yeah, he's started working on the um whatever he needs to do to make them watertight so that's good um don't know what i'm gonna do with the rest of the day i've done my ebay listings i'm gonna go and um i'm gonna tidy up this corner a little bit in this bag down here got this out this big dirty looking bag has got um newspapers in that i've collected over the years just sold something that's exciting shall we see what it is it is, it's a jigsaw, £25 for a nice 2,000 piece jigsaw, so that's very nice. It's going to keep somebody busy for a while, isn't it? Um, What was I saying? What was I going to say? Lost my thread. Oh yeah, the big bag is newspapers that I've collected over the years and I've decided not to keep them. It's bloody heavy. All it ever does is sit in a loft or a cupboard and I'm going to get rid of them. I'm going to see if they're worth anything. On They're things like um, Princess Diana's death and um, all that sort of good stuff. So um, Twin Towers, that kind of um, stuff. I suspect they're worth nothing, but I'm going to check them out and see if they're worth anything and sell them if so. And if not, get rid of them because I don't want a big dirty bag of old newspapers anymore. I've decided that... Um, it would be better got rid of. Um, I don't know what's for lunch today. It's prawn stir fry for dinner. Um, we might have a film night tonight. Quite fancy that film Hustlers that I think is on either Prime or it must be Prime, I think. Um, Amazon Prime. So might have a film night tonight, I think. That's the plan anyway. I got some lilies. We're going to plant them in the garden in pots that we can see outside the kitchen window says they flower in July and August. So that's my kitchen window. And these are the pots we're gonna put them in, these two long ones, one there and 
the other long one over there. These are all my bird feeders that I can see from the kitchen window. And my magnolia is going to be beautiful. It's um, got a little bit big actually, that magnolia, for the space it's in. But it does flower beautifully every year. So I do forgive it. Okay, lilies are planted in there and in there. I've given them a good water. And the sun's coming out, so that's nice. I think I might go and sit on the balcony with a cold drink and my book for a little while. I'm also going to paint my toenails this afternoon. Oh, camera's struggling to refocus. Yeah, I'm gonna paint my toenails this afternoon. It's all excitement here, people, I tell you. All excitement. I can't see the camera. <laughs> William is sitting out here with me. We're enjoying the sun. It's positively Mediterranean. It's the warmest day we've had so far. And William's growing a Corona beard. He doesn't want me to film it. Really. Don't really want you to film me in your glasses either, to be fair. <laughs> it really has turned into a glorious afternoon. Just hung all my washing out over the balcony to dry. Really lovely drying day. So I was saying to Ashley this morning, Excuse me if I sound bunged up, I'm very, very hay fevery, and I'm um, trying to eke out my last few hay fever pills because I don't particularly want to go to Boots, although I will do because I think we're going to have to pop to the market for fruit and veg before the end of the week. Um, so I'll pop to Boots at the same time. But um, yeah, I was saying to Ashley this morning that the news is even Ashley, who's normally an absolute news junkie, I think I've said before, is really struggling with the amount of hearsay and embellishment and expert opinion and constant regurgitation of very little that's factual on the um, mainstream media. Um, we, we don't even have the television on for the main news bulletins. I've stopped watching the five o'clock bulletin just just because I tend to forget more than anything else. I'm not deliberately not watching it. But um, even the morning programmes particularly seem terrible. We usually have a cup of tea in bed in the morning um, and watch the news. That's what we do on a normal morning. Sorry, lots of inverted commas today. That's what we do on a normal morning and um, we haven't been doing that because we just can't stand it and i said to them, said that i'd gladly pay a subscription like five pound a week or something subscription for a news channel that would give me an unembellished factual 10 or 15 minute bulletin of actual facts about what is happening around the world i don't want any expert opinion i don't want any interviews with peripheral characters about their take on the situation I, I just want hard fact from around the world about the current coronavirus situation and i don't seem to be able to get that anywhere not from a news app not from a bulletin not from i don't know reading online newspapers it all seems to be so much waffle so much waffle i just wish there was a way of consuming a daily factual update that didn't have loads of waffle that i don't want to know about in it anyway <laughs> that's my observation on the news for today i've given in and taken a hay fever pill i have six left so as long as i i'm going to take one a day for the foreseeable as long as i feel like i need one because Sorry, I'm really so bunged up. Because hay fever just makes me feel lethargic and rubbish and irritable and yeah, all of those things. And it's always, this is the time of year I get it. I think I've probably said that already. I'm allergic to tree pollen. And um, it goes off after April, May time, generally. And I don't want to be irritable. I mean, there's enough to be irritable and grumpy about already, isn't there? So I'm just going to take all the hay fever tablets while I need them, rather than trying to stop myself taking them. Um, and go and buy some new ones if I need some. So that's my decision. I'm now going to paint my toenails. I've got very chipped red on there at the moment. And I'm going to paint them with this lovely gold-flecked neutral sort of champagne-y colour, I suppose. 
It's a Boots number, so Boots Limited Edition, Barry M for Boots. And I just think that's really summery and nice. So, yeah, I've just spent about 10 minutes deciding what colour I was going to paint them. All the time in the world to make these decisions, you see. Right, let's have a mascara update, shall we? It's about half past three, I think. Quarter past three. And considering I've had a very runny nose, runny eyes, um, and really not felt great, been touching my face a lot, blowing my nose a lot, I think it's stood up pretty well. Um, don't know what the best way to show you is. It's probably that way, isn't it? Um, yeah, it's certainly not smudged beneath my eyes at all. It's all still pretty much intact when I look in the mirror. If I look in the 10 times magnifier, which is very scary, it looks... I mean, my eyeshadow's come down underneath here, understandably, but that mascara is pretty damn good. I'm impressed by this stuff. I think it's worth a try. I'd love you... If it, I'll link it below again. If any of you guys do try it, please let me know how you get on with it. I'm really impressed with it. That might be my new... I don't think I love it quite as much as Last Pr Lush Princess, but I prefer the brush. I definitely prefer the brush. I'd say it's a very, very close second. Very close. Anyway, in other news, I've just logged on to the news to check the daily... Um, numbers that I talked about the other day and 936 more deaths yesterday um, which is over a hundred more than the worst day yet it's just horrific the death toll now is up to 7095 in the UK um, what a state we're in what I just so, I do try and keep these videos upbeat. We don't want lots of moaning and misery, do we? But I think it's important to acknowledge it as well. It feels like we're paddling so hard against a river, going in, you know, paddling against the current of a river that's just sweeping us all down towards the waterfall. That was a good metaphor, wasn't it? But... Yeah, I feel a bit in despair about it all today, to be honest. Thank goodness it's blue sky and sunshine outside, but terrifying, terrifying figures and the Prime Minister's still in intensive care. And, oh, I really just hope the new infections number when it comes out is better today. It's not as, it's not gone right up again because that would give us a little bit of hope, at least that the curve is flattening. Oh, I feel I feel quite scared today. Not, not all day, but just contemplating those figures. Anyway, I'm going to shut the news page, shutting the laptop right now. It's shut. And I'm going to go and I'm posting day tomorrow for eBay. Um, so I'm going to go and sort out the bits and pieces that I've sold and get the postage done for those. And then it will probably be time for Peaky Blinders with William. I'm back on the balcony, feeling very sorry for myself. My poor eyes are very hay fevery. My nose is hay fevery. My throat is hay fevery. And I feel absolutely rubbish. I've just had some Sudafed because I literally couldn't breathe at all. And, um, yeah, the hay fever pills I've got don't seem to be working. I need to maybe go and get some different ones tomorrow, I think because I can't go through ages of this. I know I'm being overdramatic and it's only hay fever, but it just I forget about how awful it is every year. And then when I get it again, it reminds me how horrible it is. Anyway, I'm sitting on the balcony. I'm um, drinking this, which is actually not very nice. We got a pack of four of them from Waitrose about a month and a half ago, and there's three left. There's two left now, <laughs> but that should tell you how not very nice it is. Um, and I'm just going to read my book, I think. Ashley and William are just about to go in the hot tub for a little while. I don't feel like the hot tub today. And um, no big plans for the evening. Ashley's going to cook a prawn stir fry for dinner with vegetables and noodles. 
future Caroline here. I'm just sitting here editing and realised that I never finished this video off properly. So apologies for that. Um, hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back with another day in the life very soon. Um, also let me know in the comments what videos you would like to see. If there's anything that I can do whilst in lockdown that you are missing from my normal type of content or anything you'd like me to do or talk about, let me know. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I will put all the details in the comments for the jewellery that I showed you at the beginning and also the link for that mascara, which I'm still loving by the way. Okay, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.